Hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anne and this is All the Budgeting. I am on a journey to repair and recover from filing for Chapter 13 bankruptcy in November of 2021 and I'm utilizing a cash envelope budgeting system to help me do that. And so what happens on this channel is I do paycheck cash stuffing, side hustle cash stuffings, cash condensing, budget with me's, um, and I always close out my budget every month, which includes a net worth calculation. So if that is something that is interesting to you, I do hope that you consider subscribing, liking, commenting, um, all of those things. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so today's video is going to be a budget with me. I am um, going to show you my budget for my second paycheck stuffing uh, for November. So let's get right into it. So what I got in my paycheck uh, for this uh, this round was $4,191, which is a little more than normal. Um, I explained this in my bonus uh, cash stuffing. Um, we have the, you know, we're given the opportunity to pause 401k contributions uh, when we get our bonus so that that money doesn't, because otherwise um, they would take out for your 401k, um, whatever your contribution percentage is. And um, so I always do like to pause that to get the full bonus. Um, I know people have different opinions on that. That's just what I choose to do. And so because this paycheck was paid at this on the same day as my bonus, then that meant that for this one paycheck, my 401k contributions were not um, taken out. Don't worry, I've already reinstated them, so they should be back for the next one. Um, but that's why it's a little bit more than normal. <clears throat> and then I did have $100 in rollover this month. So that left me, or that this for this paycheck. So that left me with a total of $4,291 um, that I am paying or that I got paid this month. I might, why do I keep saying this month um, <laughs> for this paycheck? Okay, so out of this paycheck, my set bills and expenses, my mortgage is um, 1,375. That went up a little bit, went up about, I don't know, 35, $40, something like that, um, because uh, they regularly assess the escrow um, which covers my taxes, my property taxes. And if they feel that there's going to be um, a shortage, then they increase, you know, accordingly. So my mortgage is fixed, but um, things like escrow, insurance payments, that kind of stuff, that can go up. So because um, out of my mortgage, this is my, not only my mortgage, but that escrow for uh, property taxes, as well as my um, condo insurance all gets paid out of that. My car payment of $550, my car insurance, $95, my um, AC unit payment of uh, $270, Spotify, $10. Um, I pay the balance of my uh, bankruptcy payment out of this paycheck, and that's $285. I always budget $100 for gas um, for two weeks. Apple TV, $5, Hulu, $6, uh, my cleaning service, $165. I have a buffer in here for 50. And then I finished what I needed to get that uh, wax pass where it now that's covered for the next year um, because they always have a special this time of year, buy nine, get three free. So um, I wanted to make sure that I took advantage of that. So that now is paid for. So that the total... Um, Bills and expenses out of this paycheck will be $3,051, which leaves me $1,240 to stuff into envelopes. So moving on to my second sheet, just grab some coffee here. I have my normal $300 in groceries, $200 in spending, 100 for hair, $50 for emergency, 70 for health. And I decided that I wanted to move extra week to this um, 
section so that it always got the same amount every single paycheck because I just want to make sure that I have those fully covered um, and I don't have to worry about that because again that extra if you're new here that extra week I get paid twice a month but there's about four times during the year that um, there's kind of an extra week thrown in there from how I budget because I get two weeks of spending groceries and gas out of each paycheck. Um, and so four times I have an extra one in there. So extra week is I need $300 for each extra week to cover my groceries, spending money, and gas. All of my bills are covered out of those two paychecks. So I don't need to worry about that. I just need to worry about that, you know, extra money. So, so yeah, I just want to really make sure that I have enough um, that I'm covered in those extra weeks and I'm not scrambling whenever they come up. I have the first one for 2023 covered, so I need $900 more for the remainder of the year. Um, okay, so my fixed bills, um, or my fixed spending uh, and revolving funds, or what do I call these? My fixed spending and revolving funds, yeah, um, will come to $760, which leaves me $480 to stuff in my sinking funds, which is, you know, a lot more than I normally have. So i um, grateful for that and, you know, want to bulk some of these up while I have that opportunity. So extra debt is going to get $65. Um, home maintenance, so that, the, that extra money, um, I said this a few, I don't know, a few months ago, when I got my promotion, um, in March. Yeah, it was effective in March. Um, I was not anticipating the raise that I would get with that. And so what I decided to do was use that extra money to first bulk up some funds. Um, and then once I have my priority funds bulked up, then I will put that extra money all towards debt. So the last two priority funds that I have to bulk up are home maintenance and then car maintenance will be last. So I'm on to home maintenance. And so for this um, paycheck, it's getting $55, whereas the rest of my priority ones are, most of them are getting 25. Uh, you can see that there. Subscriptions is also getting 55 today. I did also move um, up the percentage that holiday dinner and um, gifts I think we're getting. Again, just to, I just assessed my uh, percentages of my funds a little bit to ensure that I was, um, you know, putting the appropriate amount of money into the ones that were a little bit of a higher priority. Um, so yeah, most of those are getting 25 with the exception of a few 65 and 55 into two. And then moving on to my priority three, um, my lower priority funds, those are all getting $15. And so I will have 480, um, to stuff into my sinking funds. So, so yeah, you know, uh, like I said, I, I did get a couple hundred dollars more in my paycheck than I normally do. And then I had that hundred dollars of rollover. So, um, yeah, really wanted to make sure that I bulked up some of these, um, envelopes while I could. So, um, all right. So that pretty much does it for this, uh, budget with me. I, uh, the next step will be, I will actually be, um, oh shoot. No, I didn't show you, um, how I break that money down. Sorry about that. Um, it is the day after Thanksgiving that I'm filming this and I host Thanksgiving and I feel like I had maybe two drinks all night, all day, I should say. And, uh, I feel hungover. So, uh, please, uh, forgive the, <laughs> the slower pace here. Um, so I, I usually like to show you how I break down the cash so that I know what to ask the teller for because I will be doing that uh, tomorrow. I'll be going to the bank to get the money for this um, stuffing and I'll film that uh, tomorrow. So so for groceries, I do two, oops, two 100s and two 50s. Um, 
Okay, somebody told me I, could, I don't need to keep doing this, but I clearly do. Um, okay, spending, I always do in all 20s, and so that's going to be 10 20s. Hair for this one will just be 1 100. Emergency will be 150. Health will be uh, 150 and 120. Extra debt will be 150, a 10, and a 5. Let's see, this is so hard. I need to, I hope you guys can see this. Um, home maintenance, I'm going to do a 50 and a 5. Home improvement, all the rest of these uh, priority ones are going to get a 20 and a 5. <clears throat> Extra week, we'll get to 20s. Subscriptions, a 50 and a 5. Uh, 25. And then, oops. 1 of 10 and a 5 here. Okay, so now let me do a quick count. Okay, so for 100s, I have three. For 50s, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven. 20s, I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. For 10s, I have one, two, three, four. And then five, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I will lasso this, these totals here, and copy that over to the next page. Uh, put that here. as well as down here, because all that changes is the fives. And then let me erase the fives. And, oh no, the tens also are gonna change. Okay. So all these get a 10 and a five. Bailey, get down. My cat was just trying to climb up on the table. Like, I wasn't going to notice him. <laughs> uh, okay, so then I have four, five, six, seven, eight tens. And then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 fives. Oh, gosh, that looks horrible. All right. Let me, I need to grab a calendar, or not a calendar, a calculator. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. So three 100s are obviously 300. Seven 50s, just because I am not quite with it yet. <laughs> 350, uh, 21 20s is Four twenty eight tens is eighty eighteen fives is ninety. Okay, so I'm just gonna add all these totals up. I'm looking for one thousand two hundred and forty. So three hundred plus three fifty plus four twenty plus eighty plus ninety. Yep, 1,240. And so I'll transfer that into um, one of my cash breakdown slips and I will take that to the teller to uh, get the correct denominations to stuff into my envelope. So, um, okay, so the, sorry for the little bit of uh, chaos this morning. Like I said, uh, Thanksgiving hosting hangover uh, today, so. Um, all right, so I will see you next for my stuffing of uh, this uh, paycheck. So, 
I hope you guys are having a great week and uh, I hope you all had a great, uh, for those of you that are in the U.S. and celebrate, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.